we want to welcome you this morning to our VBS celebration. For those of you who didn't realize it or didn't know, last week we had Vacation Bible School, Sunday evening to Thursday evening, and we're just about ready to get started because our praise song, our first song this morning, is one of the songs that we did during Vacation Bible School. And um, although I would be thrilled to lead that by myself, uh, I would like to have some help so if you attended VBS, whether you're a, uh, a student or a, a volunteer, if you want to make your way up to the platform here, if you don't want to make your way up to the platform, that's okay. We'll take advantage of you later. But and have a seat there. Well, as you'll learn when we go throughout our service this morning, first, I've got good news and bad news. Uh, the good news, and this may be the bad news as well, is there's not a sermon today. Oh, There's not a sermon today. Oh, there, okay. Instead, the sermon will be through our report for VBS and the different songs that we're going to sing. Um, so we pray that you will be blessed. But I'm going to invite you now, I realize that if you didn't come to Vacation Bible School that you probably don't know these songs. Um, and that's okay because some of us came to VBS for five days and we still don't know these songs. But we're going to start by a song that's called Over the Moon. So if you would stand as you are able. Now we have movements to, that, to this and I will confess that I may do them backwards because all week long I was standing backwards. To contact information we'd be happy to know who you are also if you have a prayer request later on in the service 
Yes, in case I forgot to put it in there. Later on in the service, we'll have a time of prayer. If you have a prayer request, please pray, write it on the bottom and check if it's public or private. If you put private, we won't actually pray for it publicly during the service. But then when we take the um, offering, slip this in the offering plate and they will make sure that we get it. Announcements, uh, this afternoon following our, or this morning following our worship service, the evangelism committee will meet. Um, also coming up, the trustees are meeting on Tuesday at 6.30. The ladies have their ladies prayer meeting at 9.30 a.m. And the young married small group meets Thursday evening from 6 to 7.30. Uh, are there any other announcements? No? In that, kind of, in that case, I'll ask you to stand and greet one another with the right hand of fellowship. time that the ushers will come forward, we'll prepare for our offering. We want to remind you that our mission emphasis for this month is POPs, uh, which is a puppet ministry, uh, and that involves uh, Amy Sutton and Joan and Harry McClintock, and so be praying for them. Uh, but let's go to the Lord in prayer for the offering. Heavenly Father, we thank you so very much for the opportunity to assemble together this morning. We thank you for uh, the opportunity to celebrate ministry to the children in our community. We thank you for those that are here. We thank you for this opportunity that you give us to celebrate, to praise you, to rejoice in what you're doing. We pray that you would bless in this offering, bless uh, each giver as they give from their heart. Bless also the gift, Lord, that it would be used for your glory and the advancement of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
next song, uh, the worship song, is called How Far Love Goes. And we didn't have any movements for this one because it's a quieter song. So, And when we actually sang it, we sat down. Uh, but I want to give you a little warning. I, when I was previewing the video this morning, there's two little spots where it kind of freezes. And, you know, we love technology, but when it doesn't cooperate, we blame Mike. And so... <laughs> So as we go through, if you see us pause for just a second, that's what it is. Right? But this is the only glitch this morning. The rest, everything else will go perfectly, right? If not, whose fault is it? Mike's. Okay. All right, are you guys ready for this one? All right, here, I'll get in the middle of this. I don't want to smile. I don't want to sit in front of him. I'll just go back to where I was. Okay, all right. This time we'll have a word of prayer. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you so very much for, again, this chance to come together. We thank you for the fact that we have a God that is the true living God, but a God that desires to have a relationship with us, that wants us to talk with him, that wants to talk to us, that works as a result of prayer. And Lord, this morning, we do think of uh, many individuals that are facing difficult situations. Lord, we lift you, Tim Geyer, and just pray, Lord, that your hand would be upon him, that you would bring him health and strength and healing, if it be your will. We pray for Lonnie Adams, and Lord, we lift him to you as well, and pray for healing for his body. And we pray for Shannon as well, and for Vivian. Uh, both for healing and just, Lord, we lift them up to you and pray that you would give them strength and encouragement to be with their family as well. 
Father, we pray uh, for those that are friends and family that do not yet know you as their Lord and Savior. A request has been made for a gentleman named Tim, and Lord, we lift him to you and pray that you would work in that situation, that you would use us as instruments of your plan to share the truth of the gospel of salvation through Jesus Christ. Father God, we're so glad to have Larry Yarrow back with us this morning and Patricia Talbot back with us. And we do pray as they continue their recovery that you would uh, bless and work in their lives. And Lord God, we do come before you this morning as a, con a congregation, a community of faith, as brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Lord, asking for your guidance, for your direction, for your leadership, uh, for all that we do that it would be pleasing to you, that it would bring you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For our scripture reading this morning, uh, we have what was the theme verses for Vacation Bible School. And I invite you to stand with me as we read first, or not first, we read Colossians 1, 15 and 16. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation, for by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. May God bless the reading of his word. You may be seated. Now we're going to have a time where uh, our volunteers, and we'll have a couple more songs as we go through, the volunteers that led the different sections of our Vacation Bible School are going to share, and um, I'll move them, those microphones over there, so if, if you're still out there, you won't have to come all the way up. You can just grab one and share. I want to begin, and the reason there's not a name listed next to this one is with the decorations. And uh, The decorations, so many people helped. Uh, we had several nights where a variety of different people came and contributed, and if you can see these beautiful backdrops that were here, I wish I could lie to you and say that I did that. Um, I did not, and I know he wouldn't necessarily want to be recognized for this, but we're going to do it anyways because he's a humble guy. But Dick Reeves painted these, and he painted several others that were used uh, throughout Vacation Bible School, and so we appreciate very much. We also appreciate the fact that Debbie didn't paint them, that she got out of the way and let Dick do the work. <laughs> Just teasing. She contributed um, elbow power, muscle there. Uh, we also appreciate all those that helped. It's always amazing with decorating that it takes so long to do the decorating, but when it comes time to taking the decoration down, it doesn't take that long at all. But we appreciate everybody that helped uh, to do that, and it really helps to set the mood or the tone of the Vacation Bible School. Of course, the theme, and you may hear this numerous times, the theme was searching the visible uh, to find the invisible, all right? And so uh, we looked at God's creation, one of the things of it was looking at God's creation to find Him. So we begin with that, and also since I'm here, I was privileged this week to work with my daughter Libby, leading the music, and uh, we also, uh, later on you may hear about this, um, shared in leading uh, one of the classes for part of the week, so that was exciting. But the music was very interesting, and I will tell you, we had six songs um, that we did through the week. We'll be sharing five of them, and uh, Nancy Lee has a recording of the sixth one, and the reason we aren't doing that one is because I did the program for this morning, and it was a rap song. And so as much as I would love to rap for you, um, Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> but there's recordings out there, and it was the kids enjoyed the song, and it was a very meaningful song, but I just couldn't do it with Betty Bartley being here. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> so but we appreciated that very much. And so now uh, we'll give an opportunity for the snack people to come. Oh, oh yeah, I'll grab the wireless.
Good morning. Um, Nancy Lee, Barb Anderson, and myself uh, manned the Galaxy Snack Shack. And we had two treats each night, and we generally prepared about 72 treats because we had 40 kids and lots of adults that helped. And of course, we had a few left over to snack on. But I think my uh, favorite one was the telescope. And we made it to kind of, what was your favorite? All of them? Wow, so we were a hit. We tried to do one snack that uh, went along with the theme or the lesson for the night, and one that was just lots of fun with outer space. We had space balls that had um, cookie crunch cereal and chocolate and marshmallows. You can't go wrong with that. We had uh, little satellites that were little smokies with croissants and a um, little pretzel stuck through it to look like satellites. We had scrolls one night with pretzels and fruit roll-ups. And what else? We had Milky Ways, which were pudding cups. And um, our telescope was an ice cream cone with a Rolo on the end for the lens. And we stuffed it with Rice Krispie treats we made. And then we dipped that in purple chocolate or lavender chocolate to kind of mimic the telescope. And Dick also made the telescope, and that was a big hit with the kids. But we had a lot of fun. We had cross crackers, which were a graham cracker frosted with um, a cross made out of licorice and sprinkles. And so uh, we had boats one night, which were apple wedges and a toothpick and a cheese for the sale. And, just, we just had a good time, so thanks for letting us help. The next thing on our list is games, and um, Jim and Michael Brinkman uh, led the games each night, but they are in California this morning, uh, so Right now, they're yelling their report to you. If you're real quiet, you can hear it. Um, but do you remember some of the games that you all played this week? Allie, what was your favorite game? We had to try the ping pong ball. We had to try to um, balance the ping pong ball when we went around um, the bucket. That was my favorite. Okay. Riley, what was your favorite? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> you loved them all so much, right? Yeah, okay. Anybody else? Kayla, what was your favorite? My favorite was the dodgeball. Oh, dodgeball. Madeline, did you have a favorite? My favorite was uh, playing. Playing? Okay. Anybody all right. Anybody else? Michaela, what would, did you have a favorite? No, she didn't. No? All right. Well, needless to say, fun was had by all who participated. Well, maybe I shouldn't say by all, because some of the adults didn't have so much fun. And also, I don't know if this will be mentioned, Michael had a pretty good week up until Thursday. We had a competition. I don't know if somebody's going to mention this or not. We had a competition in, with the items that we brought in for the Lighthouse for Christ. We had a mission to, to bring in items for the Lighthouse for Christ, and we divided up by boys against girls, which whether you like that or not, that's what we did because it works. It's real easy. Um, and the girls were walloping the boys all week long until the last night, and the boys came ahead. Yes, and um, in the end, the boys got to spray Michael Brinkman with water guns. And each, each class, so each boy, so over and over and over throughout the night, they weren't guns, they were squirt bottles. Yes, that's right. And so that was exciting because poor Michael came in afterwards and was just drenched. So, all right. Now we're going to sing the song, Who You Are. Y'all remember that one? Yeah. All right, so let's stand. You guys don't have to stand, but you're welcome to. But we're going to stand up because there's motions for this song. Uh, are we going to do those? Yes. Oh, no, you, if you want to stand close, but don't pick them up. Just like the love that you have for 
And now, Miss Patty and Miss Ashley led our class for the pre-K, yeah, the pre-K class. I guess I'm it for um, Bryce and Amy decided they were going to be gone today too. So, hey, by the way, Jamie, you're giving this. So, um, Amy and I did the crafts for the K through fifth grades um, each night. We made a craft that went along with um, the verse of the day. For example, Sunday night's verse was from Colossians 1 verse 17. Um, God holds all things together. So we made a kaleidoscope. Um, some of them had to make a telescope as well. So we ran out of some supplies, um, but we improvised with pastor's help. Thank you. And um, so basically what the kaleidoscope was supposed to be for, um, because when we try to see things from God's perspective, they're not fragmented, fragmented like the colors in the kaleidoscope. Um, and basically I would say I was blessed each day with just having all the kiddos come in they were all so excited, wanting to know what we were doing, how we were doing it, and um, it was really kind of cool because we're all made in God's image, but we all have different thoughts and ideas. So when we got the project all done, everybody had the same basics, but everybody's was unique in their own special way. So thank you, kiddos. You did a great job. Good morning. We had a great week. It was so encouraging to start out with 15 children, and then by the third and fourth day, we were up to 18 and 19, and it was really cool to see how they have developed from year to year. We were so so glad to see all those that have come back again for a second year that's been in the class, and then those new people that came along. That was great. Michelle Gillard was a teacher, and she did a great job. Uh, she talked about um, on day one, our focus was God created me to love him. And we had songs in our class also, and we uh, sang the song, God Made Me. And we had a story about the creation, and she used the flannel graph that talked about how the, the world was nothing, and then God created it. The second night, our, our focus was God loves me no matter what. We talked about how sometimes we don't always do what pleases God but that he still loves us. And our song was, he loves me, me, me. The third night, our focus was, God promised to send his son, Jesus. Our song was, J-E-S-U-S. -S, and that was, J-E-S-U-S, -S, right? Okay. And our fourth night, God had a special plan for Jesus. Michelle used a onesie for a baby. She used a t-shirt for a child and a man's t-shirt to show the, the visual that Jesus was born as a baby and he grew to be a man to die for all of us. 
And then on the fifth day, God promises to help me. We sang the song, God is always with me. And we used fishing nets to talk about the fishermen had, who had gone out and fished with no avail. And then after a while, when Jesus told them where to fish, they found the fish. All right, hopefully you're getting encouraged by what you're hearing. So let's, let guys, you guys stand. We're going to sing another song, and this one's called Stars.
accepted Jesus as the Lord and Savior. And now we go from the older class to the youngest class. And so we're going to have Mr. White come. He's promised to give a very short report. The youngest class, I think the oldest teacher. We had uh, four people in the nursery, uh, three of every night. Sometimes it was four. But Lacey Lang, Terry Sager, myself, and Vicki Wynn. We had, a, I think one time we had five kids, three toddlers and two uh, infants. And then, but most of the time we had two infants and two toddlers. And uh, the infants, we like to love them, and the toddlers, they just took care of each other. <laughs> What a funny guy. All right, and as you may remember, uh, Chris Brinkman was our VBS director this year, and since you probably figured this out, since Michael and Jim Brinkman are in California, Chris is in California as well. And so since her name was in the program, I asked Jerry Mayo, who is the chairman of our board of Christian Ed, um, if he would mind bringing a message from Chris. She left a little message for us. So we'll give our attention to Jerry. Chris is so efficient. She has this all written out for me, so I don't have to do anything too exciting. Um, she said, God's given us a great week here at BBS. Our mission project, we collected about 250 items for the Lighthouse for Christ. I appreciate each one of our volunteers. They've loved the children and told them about Jesus. They've planned lessons, games, snacks, crafts, and songs for worship. Some have rocked babies and changed diapers. They have sacrificed time and resources to come each evening. They have made an impact not only on the children who have attended, but also on whole families as parents have come to drop off and pick up their children. May we as church family, as a church family, continue to reach out to others with the great news of salvation in Jesus. We started the week with four classes and ended with six classes. Our total attendance was 322, so the average was 64. We had about 45 different children attend. During the, during the meetings, four made a profession of faith and two requested baptism. So that's, that's the signs of a very, very successful BBS. And um, as chairman of the board of CES, CE, and on behalf of the members, I'd like to thank Chris um, for her, her leadership in this. She just kind of took the program by the horns and, and made it happen. Um, she's very efficient and she's, she's done a great job. I'd like to also thank Pastor Matthew because like many, many other programs in the, within the church, things don't happen without his leadership and guidance and involvement. Uh, also like to thank all the helpers, anybody who taught, crafts, snacks, songs, teachers, helpers, whatever you did. VBS is such an important part of the outreach. For many children, this is the very, the only time they have any uh, connection with a church, family, any place. And for many of them, as we've seen here, it's their first step in their walk with Jesus. So we'd like to thank everybody involved in VBS. And if you see them walking around, uh, you see their names in the bulletins, give them a pat on the back, because they've, uh, made their time available uh, to make this happen. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, and so now we've come to the point where we are at our closing song. And so don't look at the clock because you'll just be shocked. All right. But I'm only going to say some Sundays the pastor is long-winded. Some Sundays we get out a little bit early. And it balances out. So the next time that the pastor is a little bit long-winded, you write in your Bible, July 16th, 2017. All right, but stand with us as you're able, and we're gonna sing our, our theme song, Galactic Star Bears. And I know many of you have not done any of the movements that we've done throughout this service. Challenge yourself, oops, step out in faith and broaden your horizons, uh, and see if you can do these motions with us uh, we'll sing this song, and then we'll have a closing prayer.
Well, before I close in prayer, I again want to echo the sentiment that Jerry shared that we appreciate so very much um, all of the help. You know, uh, there's that saying that it takes a village, and you know, when we think about things like BBS, it can't be done by one person or one, one board. It takes a whole slew, a whole team of people to do it, and it demonstrates our church's commitment to reaching out to the children of our community with the message of the gospel of salvation. And the curriculum this year that we used was tremendous. Uh, it very clearly and very simply shared the truth that God made us, God loves us, and even though we made a mistake, he had a plan and he has a plan to fix that and to restore relationship with us. And that is the message that we need to share with children and with teenagers and with adults and senior citizens with everyone in our community. And so we praise the Lord for the opportunity that he has given to us. And um, we just are looking forward to continuing to encourage these kids. And I would challenge you to, to think of one of them, uh, whether they're on the stage or not, and be praying for them as they continue to grow in the Lord. But let's be dismissed with prayer. Father God, we thank you so very much for the opportunity to assemble together this morning. We thank you for uh, the chance for us to give you glory, to praise you for what you have accomplished, for truly it is you who has done this, this mighty thing. We thank you for the faithfulness of these kids, the faithfulness of the volunteers, the faithfulness of the parents to bring them. And we do pray, Lord God, that you would bless them in a special way, uh, that even if they may never ever come to this church again that they would remember this one week when they were dem when love was demonstrated to them love of people but more importantly the love of god go with us now bless this day in jesus name we pray amen, amen.